Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just two days ago, I let you know that Microsoft Edge is going to be getting a dedicated tab groups button, which simplifies access to your tab groups. And I have been seen in the comments since posting that video that the feature now is rolling out to the stable version. And I just received it in the stable earlier today on the 24th of July. So Microsoft was very fast to push this tab groups button out on the bookmarks bar or the favorites bar. So quick recap, if we head to the top left of our bookmarks bar, there we can see tab groups. That's the new button. You click on that, you can create a new tab group. So you get the general idea. And then you can click on that again and you can obviously access your tab group directly from that fly out or you can right click on any of your given tab groups that have been created you can open move to a new window you can delete just a quick recap and something else that has also rolled out with this feature is that if you head to the main menu it also places a tab groups entry in your main menu now if you don't want to see or have this tab groups button enabled in your bookmarks bar or your favorites bar then it's actually quite simple to remove all you do is you right click on the favorites bar and yeah you'll see show tab groups toggle that off and you can see it's gone now just take note though that if we head to the main menu it doesn't remove the entry in the main menu that still exists so you can then do the same from the main menu Turning that off in the favorites bar will not remove it from the main menu, but at least you have the option to get rid of that visual clutter because this is actually hidden. You have to open the menu to see that where if you are using the favorites bar, that is obviously in your face all the time. Now, I know I did post on this two days ago, but I thought I'd just post this quick video because it has made its way into stable. It seems that it's rolled out using a server-side update. And I am seeing it on both my devices, so it seems to be not a controlled. It looks like it's rolling out globally, and I have seen a couple of comments that um, viewers are seeing this in Edge. So it does seem that Microsoft, Microsoft is pushing that out now. But just wanted to post this catch-up video. If you didn't know about that, and you're wondering what it is, or you wanted to disable it, or even enable it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.